Sometime in early high school, we were asked to prove that a radius bisecting a chord does so at 90 degrees. Now, how do we do that? To be able to do that, we need to know a couple of things. We need to know that all radii of a circle are exactly the same length. We also need to know that the word bisected means cut in exactly in half. We also need to know that in, when two triangles have the same size sides, they are called congruent and that congruent triangles are equal in every respect. Once we know all that, we can start writing the formal proof. And the first thing we do is we say, what are we given? We are given a circle center O with radius OD bisecting chord AB at point C. And then we get asked what we are required to prove. And we are required to prove that angle C1, or for that matter angle C2, is equal to to 90 degrees. And then we write the word proof and we know we're going to base that proof on congruent triangles and to be able to do that proof the first thing that we do is we construct two triangles by putting down radius OA and radius OB. And once we have that we're up and running. So we write proof and we have a statement and a reason for the statement and we keep them all very structured uh, and aligned carefully. So in our statement we say angle OA is equal to angle OB because they are radii of the same circle. Angle AC is equal to ang uh, at least line AC or side AC is equal to side BC because of the word bisected, which means this line was cut exactly in half, so these sections are the same length. And line OD is equal to line OD, because it's the same line. And now we say, therefore, triangle OAC is congruent or equal in every respect to triangle OBC. So this triangle equal in every respect to that triangle, because of side, side, side congruency. And because this angle and that angle are corresponding angles of congruent triangles, they are identical. So angle C1 is the same as angle C2 because they are corresponding triangles. And then we add, because now we need to talk about this, finding the size of this line. So we say, but AB is a straight line. And now here is where your English teacher and your maths teacher have a disagreement. Because your maths teacher is quite happy to use the word but. But your English teacher will point out to you that the word but actually means everything I've said up to now has been a lie. I'd love to come to your party, but I am doing something else. So I'm not coming to your party. So a better word for this would be moreover, or additionally, or furthermore. AB is a straight line. So angle AB, and that, believe it or not, is an angle, it's a straight line angle, is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle C1 plus angle C2 must be equal to 180 degrees. But because the two angles are the same size, the one angle will be 180 divided by 2, which is 90 degrees, which is what you asked us to prove. And so now you're saying to me, yes, that's nice, but why are you teaching me junior high school mathematics and in a research methods class? And the answer is that actually this is a piece of academic writing. Look carefully. There's your introduction. This is what we have given, been given. There is your problem statement. This is what I'm required to prove. Here is your theoretical foundation. 
this is what I you need to know all about congruent triangles. You need to know about radii. You need to know about what straight line angles are. All that stuff is the theoretical foundation. And then you have a method or a method. And that method is that you construct to you do an intervention. You construct radius OA and you construct radius OB. And in that way, you have constructed two triangles. And then once you've constructed that, you end up with three findings. You find that that line is the same as that line. You find that these two lines are the same length and you find that those two are common. So those are your findings. And then because of that, you can say a therefore. And the moment you say therefore, you have a conclusion. And finally, once you've reached your conclusions, you can recommend that we pay 90 degrees for angle C1 or angle C2 and not a degree more. And so there you can see that actually it was your maths teacher and not your English teacher who first taught you academic writing.